on to number three. On uh, number three, it says find the critical points of the ODE uh, dy dt is equal to y to the fourth plus three y to the third plus two y squared, and classify them as stable, unstable, or semi-stable. You must justify your conclusion by either drawing a phase portrait or by drawing a slope field. So notice that this differential equation is autonomous. The uh, derivative on the left side is equal to a function of y on the right side. I'm going to start by taking this derivative and writing it in factored form. On the right side I can factor out a y squared that'll leave me with a factor of y squared plus 3y plus 2 and then y squared plus 3y plus 2 factors into y plus 2 times y plus 1 if I set my uh, derivative equal to 0 I'll be able to solve for my critical points. We get critical points whenever the, the factors are equal to zero. Uh, we're going to get y equals zero. That's from this first factor. Here, if y plus two is equal to zero, I'm going to get y is equal to negative two. And if y plus one is equal to zero, I'm going to get y is equal to negative 1. So these are my critical points. Now what I'll do is I'll make up a, a phase portrait. I'm going to draw a straight line and I'm going to label my critical points Up here, y is equal to 0. Then I have y equals negative 1 and y equals negative 2. And what I want to do is I want to choose a test point and see where my slope is positive and where my slope is negative. My first region, I'm going to choose a number higher than y equals 0. I'm going to choose 1. And when I choose 1, I'm going to substitute that into uh, my factored form of the derivative. So I get dy dt is equal to 1 squared, that's 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, gives me a positive 6. It's the positive that I'm looking for. Positive means that my graph is going up and increasing. As y goes to infinity, my graph is going to be going up. It's going to have a positive slope. I'm going to choose the number between 0 and negative 1. Let me choose negative 1 half change the color. Negative one half gives me dy dt. See I'm going to get negative one half squared. That's going to give me a positive one fourth. What I'm looking for here is the sign at negative one half plus two is is positive. It's actually three halves. And then negative one half plus one is one half. And I don't really have to multiply this out, but I can. The important thing is that it, it's positive. And so in the region between y equals 0 and y equals 1, my graph is also increasing. Now I'm going to choose a number between negative 1 and negative 2. Try orange. I 
like a negative three halves. and substitute in so that I get dy dt equals, let's see, negative 3 halves, 2 is 4 halves. Well, uh, let me go here first. y squared is going to be 9 fourths positive, and uh, 2 is 4 halves, so negative 3 halves plus 4 halves gives me a 1 half. And 1 is 2 halves, negative 3 halves plus 2 halves gives me a negative 1 half. So here my slope is going to be a negative. That's really what I want, or what I'm looking for is just the sign. I get negative 9 16. The negative means that I have a, a negative slope. My graph is going down uh, in between y equals negative 1 and y equals negative 2. And so let's choose a number less than negative 2. We'll choose negative 3. And at negative 3, I get my derivative is negative 3 squared gives you 9. Negative 3 plus 2 gives you negative 1. negative 3 plus 1 gives you negative 2 and again what you're really looking for is the sign these two negatives will multiply together to give you a positive and 9 times 2 is 18 you get a positive 18 that positive tells you that your slope is going to be positive and your graph is going up So now we can classify these points. We have a stable critical value if the flow of the uh, solutions is coming towards that value. If both of these arrows are pointing towards the critical value, like they are here at y equals negative 2, Above y equals negative 2, our solutions are coming down, approaching negative 2, and below negative 2, our solutions are coming up. And so both solutions from above and below are approaching negative 2. This is said to be an attractor, and an attractor is stable. A critical value is unstable if the solutions are going away from that critical value. Like here in y equals negative 1. Above y equals negative 1, the solutions are going upwards, away from negative 1, and below y equals negative 1, the solutions are going downwards again away from y equals negative 1. So if you start at y equals negative 1, you might be pulled upwards or you might be pulled downwards. This is unstable. Okay, where the graph is not stable and where it's not unstable, that's where it's semi-stable, such as here at y equals 0. At semi-stable, from one direction, the uh, solutions are approaching uh, the critical value, and from the other direction, they're going away. Here at y equals 0, uh, if I have an initial value above y equals 0, my graph is going to be going up. Notice that they're going away from this critical value. If I start below y equals 0, my slope is going up. It's approaching. It's approaching y equals 0. Uh, at y equals 0, this is called semi-stable. So stable is an attractor. 
unstable is called a repeller, and then semi-stable is neither an attractor nor a repeller.